was about anything else, even though there was curious timing around the Chattanooga uh, military installation shootings. Do you buy that story, and should he be watched? Well, I think it depends how we define radicalization. I, I don't buy the fact that this imam really had no clue about how Muslims are radicalized. He may not have seen them talking about weapons or anything violent, but the way we define radicalization is important. And this mosque clearly was the home for me of the group called Tablighi Jamaat, which is a, a pretty cultish organization that's anti-American. And this imam has been seen posting uh, comments about uh, America killing Muslims in the Middle East, etc. So the pathway towards radicalization, this ideology, we've surrendered by not monitoring and mosques should not be havens should not be sanctuaries for these ideologies they may not be preaching violence but we are surrendering to the threat if we don't and by the way as a muslim these mosques are open public places so i'm trying to figure out what exactly we want to hide since they're supposed to be public places nobody's talking about giving up any civil rights well, and I want to get your take on this, Cheyenne. Uh, Peter King talks about sure. how, hey, this has been done in, in American Italian communities and Irish communities back in the day to, to, to stop gangs and, and the mafia. It worked then. Is it wrong now? Well, first of all, I'm a civil rights attorney and also an American Muslim. But uh, one, this is not a mafia. We're talking about First Amendment right uh, of religious freedom and also uh, uh, the right to not be legally searched and seized, which is a constitutional right. So when we talk about Muslims at large, we must distinguish between American Muslims who have the protection of the Constitution and Muslims in large and the problems we face regarding radicalization. I just wrote an article in BuzzFeed where I talk about how we can fight radicalization. And one of the uh, uh, points I make is that American Muslims themselves must democratize their mosques. One of the problems we, I think our community faces is that these mosques are being run like mega churches. And so in the boards, you don't have enough women or young people representing it. And also the imams that we talk about have to be from our community. Right, we're talking about Americans. surveillance, not the way that they're run and the leadership there, Cheyenne. Well, but they're connected. They're connected. I think it's an important aspect of it. Because, see, surveillance has been slapped down, uh, uh, collective guilt and collective uh, 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 accusations that Mr. King has been making for over a decade Dr. Jasser, has been slapped but, down by, by, by the law, by I the courts. I want you to get in here so, one more time, Dr. Jasser, because, sure, but, but, I, I mean, in, in trying think, times like this, should investigators just sit on their hands? No one this says is the part that, that we're Obviously missing no is that, that while Mr. Well, while Mr. Allahi may be making some good suggestions, which many of us have been making for years and they've been ignoring, I what haven't he's heard missing you make them ever. Really, I have never let made, me finish. Have you made them. I did not interrupt you. So the, the bottom Gentlemen, line is, is that many of these Muslim organizations are obstructing. They are. We'll continue this this conversation though. Thank you for your time. Thank Twenty you. minutes after the hour coming up.